Aloha! Uh, my name is Amanda McCumbie. I am the committee chair for LAG's teacher uh, Keiki art program. Uh, basically what that means is I just coordinate uh, all the teachers, I get their schedules, I coordinate with the school and work out the schedule with them and then relay it over to all of my teachers. Um, I am also one of the volunteer teachers myself, so that means I'm actually inside the classroom as well, helping teach these kids some art. Uh, when I first came to the program and found out that most, if not all, of the public schools did not have any type of art class, um, it actually broke my heart a little bit. It's, it's such an important part of our process of growing and learning, and I can't even imagine what my childhood would have been like had I not had um, the art classes that I did. Um, so I'm very, very proud to be a part of this program and to just try to get the art back to our kids because as much as I want to give it to them, they are as equally excited to have art classes. Um, currently we are in King Kamehameha 3, uh, the elementary school and on Front Street in Lahaina. Uh, conveniently it's located right next door to our Lahaina Art Society Gallery, so we are able to kind of utilize that space as well. Um, we kind of made that like a, a checkpoint for all of our teachers to go and get their supplies and everything that they would need for their classes, um, so that worked out really, really nicely. Uh, as, the pro as the program leader, I did make sure that we got all the supplies that they could need, so I just talked to all the teachers and asked them to, to give me basically art supplies that they thought they would use. Um, and we have everything from watercolors, acrylics, um, oil pastels, uh, I mean, it's, it's everything. There's literally any, any artistic, and it's, and it's not all the stuff that you would buy for your kids at home. It's actual artist quality um, things that we're using. So the paints that I use with my kids are the paints that I use to create at paintings that I uh, hang in the gallery. So it's, it's a really fun way for them to get kind of a little more fancy feel for the art world. Um, but basically what we do is um, every month within the school we have one art week. During that art week, um, every single class in the entire school is covered with an art class. So they each get one, um, one hour class per month right now. Uh, basically, teachers come in every month on the same day. So in February, if they went on Monday at this certain time, they would do the same in March and so on. Um, that way they can kind of build a rapport with their kids and learn what their levels are and what they've already done and who who likes to do what. Um, I can tell you my kids were ecstatic every single time they saw me in the school. Um, it literally only took the first, the first week, the first art week, for them to realize that this was something that was coming back. Um, and the moment they would see us walk onto campus, uh, they were very, very excited that they we're having another art class that day and then ones that weren't getting it that day were very disappointed to learn that they had to wait until later in the week. Um, but from, I mean, the kids and even their classroom teachers were very, very grateful that we were there. Um, some of the teachers expressed that they tried to do art things with them because they also realized how important that part of learning for children is. Um, but they just, you know, not everyone has the ability to, to do an art project with a kid and it sometimes comes out as just a coloring page or something and they don't really know what else to do and I, I don't think it's fair for our schools to put that on our classroom teachers who are already covering so many things that I, I think this is something that really does grant a whole other person with a whole different point of view and, and a want and a will to, to do this with these kids. Um, I've done so many different things and it's all been very, very successful. Um, one of the projects I did was a, um, a lesson on warm and cool colors. Very, very simple. I basically talked to the kids about what warm and cool colors were. Um, we did like a quick lesson and we put the list on the board so that we could remember later which one was which. And then I had them trace their hand and draw an optical illusion using the warm and cool colors. Um, and they had so much fun. I, I was blown away about, uh, at how well they did with the project. 
Um, but also I made sure to use something that I didn't know if they had ever used before. So I used oil pastels. So rather than just using crayons or colored pencils or markers, um, I tried to take a new medium into them and they were hilarious um, because we had to talk about what oil pastel meant and then it also turned into a lesson on washing your hands at the end because oil and water do not mix so you have to use soap to get oil pastels off your hands. Um, but the kids had a really, really fantastic time um, and I even got, the next time I went in there, I had classes sending me thank you cards. Um, I don't know if they didn't realize that we would be back, but it was it was just really, really sweet to see how excited they were to be able to, to do this. Um, I've also done things where I turned them into mini Picassos, where I've taught them about Picasso and cubism and about how art doesn't have to be perfect. And we did a whole lesson on thinking outside of the box and doing things differently. Um, some of them had never even used scissors, uh, which really blew my mind. There, it just, you don't think, you think about all of these things that you took for granted as a kid. Um, and I, I just can't even imagine what my life would have been like had I not had the artistic outlets that I did growing up. Um, so as of now, King Kamehameha 3 is the only school we're in. Um, it was kind of our baby project. It was our launch school. Uh, we are hoping to do more at our um, art fairs, so to be able to set up some kind of tent sign up um, project where other people in the community can bring their kids in to do that if they're not inside of the school we're teaching in. And we also really wholeheartedly want to expand into the other schools. Like we need at least at least one in each uh, city, I would say. So like one in Kihei and Kalui and even upcountry. I've had parents approach me about Paia and, and Kihei and I just, I know that it's something that all of our kids need and if we were able to expand this into many, many more schools, it would just, I mean, I feel like it could really help change our school system completely and it's just something that I really believe in and think that is totally necessary for our kids growing up here. But yeah, that is an, a pretty broad overview of what our program is. Um, I hope that this grant, if we do get it, helps us do that expansion and reach so many more kids because I feel like they all deserve it. And I would love nothing more than to see it get to as many schools as possible here. So thanks for your time.